Okay, so it is my official five week weigh in, and I'm happy. I'm not ecstatic, but I'm happy. Um, I lost 0.7 pounds. Okay, so in the long run, if I lost 0.7 pounds every week, in 10 weeks, I'd have lost 7 pounds. 20 weeks, 14. 40 weeks, 28. That would be amazing. That would be wonderful. That would be reasonable. And I'm. if you ask anybody, hey, if you lost 30 pounds in a year and you didn't have to do anything crazy, you just had to kind of slowly modify your diet and work out and you could still enjoy certain foods, would you do it? I'm sure a lot of people would say yes. And that is why I'm happy because I know that I need to be happy with this. Um, now I'm up to 8.8 .8 pounds lost. But I think in my heart, I just really wanted to see that 10 pound point this week. I think the reason why I'm not super ecstatic about that is because I worked really hard this week. Um, my goal was to do 26.2 miles, which I'm sure you all know is the miles of a marathon, um, not in one day. I did it over the course of, I think, four or five days, um, and I did it. I did 27 miles, and so I thought maybe I would see more weight loss on the scale. However, I will say this. Um, it was our final week of school. I'm a homeschool mom, and it was tough. It was, it was a hard week, and um, we, like, knocked it out of the park. I'm really, really proud of my kids, and... Um, but you know, I was exhausted a lot of the week. Um, I think probably I went for some comfort food when I probably shouldn't have. Um, we also celebrated the fact that we were done. And so I was definitely putting on calories where I should have been taking them off. But having said that, all in all, it was a good week. Knowing how hard my week was and knowing the tendency that I have to run to comfort food, um, and the fact that I didn't, um, the fact that I did celebrate, but still lost weight and worked out. I mean, all in all that, that's a good week. I have to keep reminding myself that this is, this is good to, to see this scale moving down is better than to see it moving up and to see it staying the same. And also my planks, I have not given up on them, but I have stopped increasing the, um, amount of time that I'm doing planks. I understand that five minutes is the holy grail of planking, <laughs> but I am just not ready for that yet. Um, I made it up to two and a half minutes, which is half of the holy grail. So I'm not, I'm not drinking from that holy grail yet, but I'm blowing it kisses <laughs> from across the room. Um, and then I realized even two and a half minutes is, it's, 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 I mean, I, I can do it, but um, I would rather have a strong really confident plank for the whole time and and build from there than to just keep adding seconds every day to 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 be in this challenge so i'm not giving up on the challenge i still have my eye on that prize of the holy grail of five minutes but for now i've decided to cut back to two minutes and stay there every day until i can really feel like i'm i'm strong and i'm i'm getting there um, so maybe that was another thing I've been adding in weights, um, to my workouts. And so that could be another reason. I mean, if I am building muscle, that's heavier. So maybe that was part of the reason why I only lost 0.7 pounds. I don't know, but, but I'm good. I'm good. So having said all of that, your hard workouts, you're watching what you're eating most of the time and still celebrating having a tough week, but still getting your, you know, your exercise in and still trying to be rational and reasonable with everything. Are you satisfied with 0.7 pounds? Yeah, sure. I would want more, but yeah. Oh yeah, I am. Now, having said that, school is over. Next week, we have a lot of time on our hands. Um, and I kind of want to take the week to chill out a little on my mental stimulation, just kind of relax for a little bit. But I want to step up my 
my eating healthy and my workouts. Um, so the six week body makeover is what I'm going to be attempting next week. I know it's a six week body makeover. So what can I really see in a week? Well, I just kind of want to try it out. It is the only diet that has ever like really blown me away for my body, for the way my body works. It was amazing. Um, and they call it the six week body makeover, not because it's supposed to be this like life changing thing in six weeks. It's just supposed to set you on your path, but you're supposed to see a marked difference in six weeks. So why am I only doing it for one week? I'm not only going to do it for one week, but I'm just, I'm really going to take a stab at it next week to see if it makes a difference because my body is definitely different than it was 10 years ago, for sure. Um, I'm holding on to this weight longer than I've ever had before. I mean, I could drop, you know, by doing crazy things or by doing normal things, I could still drop weight pretty quickly and um, I'm not. So I need to kind of test my body and to see what is reasonable at this age and do I need to adjust my expectations? Do I need to stop hoping for certain things every way in so that I'm not setting myself up for disappointment? Um, and still, you know, congratulating myself for the accomplishments of the week. And, you know, um, I really am proud of myself. Um, I'm proud of my, my planks. I'm, you know, um, even though I'm pulling it back to two minutes and just being consistent with two minutes for a little while. Um, and I'm really proud of how many miles I walked and, um, and how I ate for most of the week. Um, and I'm not even really too worried about the celebrations that we had either. But I also kind of want to see what's my limit, what's, you know, how, how hard can I push myself. So this week I will be eating according to that plan just to see what happens on the scale next Friday. I started this morning. Um, you're supposed to drink 100 ounces of water every day, which might sound intimidating for people who don't like drinking water, but for me, um, I like, I like drinking water and, um, I have these big, like 30 ounce cups, three of those throughout the day. And you're pretty much, you're pretty much at a hundred ounces. Um, and plus you're drinking, you know, with meals and stuff like that too. So yeah, I'm excited. And, um, I hope next week I come back and I'm like, ah, I lost two more pounds. Um, and so we'll see. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm hanging in there. Um, as far as just being patient. Um, I know that I still have a long way to go and I'm excited for it. That's it for today. Um, I'm a happy girl and I still can't really see a difference. I mean, again, it's only, it's only 8.8 .8 pounds which is not really going to be any different from last week. And I really want to see a difference. I just feel like the impatient part of me is starting to kick in. And I feel like, man, five weeks, I would have liked to see some difference. Um, but I'm, I'm still moving forward with it. I'm still, I will eventually see a difference. I know that. So I just need to kind of keep telling myself, take it easy and uh, enjoy it. And I am. Plus, it's summer now, and I can't wait to spend more time exercising outside, at the beach, in the waves, and having fun with my kids. So, it's a good week. I'm a happy girl. Hope you guys are doing great, too. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye!